offense. Superstar quarterback. He'll make you pay if you throw his way too often. It's the Dolphins and the Jets next on Madden Football. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the rookie out of the University of Kentucky. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now a first carry here for their running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. On play action, they'll throw. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. You know, a week ago, they dominated in the trenches. They got in the backfield for five sacks, setting the tone there, one on the opening drive. And it sets the tone for the opposing team, doesn't it? Remember when you were a kid and you went to the theater and saw that horror movie and it stuck with you for a while and you were a little bit jumpy? Well, if you saw five sacks the previous week and you're the quarterback, you might be a little jumpy as well. It might throw off his timing. Yeah, it'd be jumpy, but uh, sorry, Bob and Linda wouldn't let me see a PG movie until I was 17. Well, that's just good parenting. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Got the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. But following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. In motion, Hill. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Now the first carry here for the running back. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third and 13. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, his first throw of the game, gonna be intercepted. And his guys will take over 
the 30-yard line. And this Charles definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. To the sideline and incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brings up second and eight. Back to throw. That is caught by Williams. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Aubrey Good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. He'll look to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's complete to Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Now back to throw. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. A 
here's a hand up. And a loose football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang on to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game, something they haven't done with the ball so far. Their quarterback leading this offense back out, and he's been loose with the football early. Interceptions on the first couple of drives as they start again here. We'll see if he can do better first and ten. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. He's going to let this one go deep. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great play there. 62 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. I think he's still shaking his head a little. It was his fumble on the previous drive that led to the touchdown that has us tied. And sometimes it's worse on a runner who drops it like that to watch the other team take the ball downfield and score than maybe if they just returned it right away. You know what I mean? Because sometimes what happens that fast, you're right back out on the field. Instead, he had to watch it happen. Let's see if it affects him going forward the rest of the game. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Caught by Wilson. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Back to throw again. Look at right side, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Dolphins are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. And for me and my little bit of rankings here, I've got them at the top. I know there's still two months to go, and we've seen teams get off the hot starts and then fade away due to injuries or the schedule or whatever. But unless there are a rash of injuries on this team, I'd be surprised if they aren't a first or a second seed come playoff time. The false start hurts them there a bit. Backs them up to second and nine. They'll drop the throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
The Dolphins at 7-1 and one now on the year. And they come in following a loss last week. And that, of course, ended that strong run they were on. They had won seven in a row prior. And something you pointed out to me before the game even began, they've had terrific fortune throughout their entire win streak. But we both saw it happen right in front of our eyes. Some of that good fortune dried up, and they ended up taking the loss. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. In motion, Hill. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Give him 30 yards there. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Here's a second and 7. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that hole, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. This will be caught at about the five. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. The Jets offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. As we transition into the second half of the season, you can see he's the NFL's leader in rushing touchdowns. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. 4-4, four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed? Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. They have been struggling to put points on the board so far. Now, you don't want to lump it all on the rookie quarterback. He's definitely the root cause. And all rookies... They have those learning experiences in their first year. What they're hoping for is that he can learn on the fly, work through his struggles against his defense, and at the same time, still find a way to put them in a position to win. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They fell last week to Cleveland, but they're on top here as they start this drive first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17. Into the red zone, first down. In motion, Hill. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Jets are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And, well, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, 
that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? The New York set to take the field. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. Back to throw here. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 36 yards on the play. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Back to throw now on first down. That'll be complete to a conqueror. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Uh, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. It's Williams on the catch. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Well, that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. They'll look to throw again. And he is caught. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning to points for the other side. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Second down and three. They'll set up to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Well, these two teams met down in Miami earlier this year with the Dolphins winning that one. So they are looking for the sweep here at MetLife. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. 
Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. This is second and eight. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this one hits at the 1, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. More from you and Charles in a bit. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here in the late window. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. And the Patriots have the lead in the final stages before halftime. The Patriots seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. From there, let's head to the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado. Check in on the Broncos. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting LA Rams. Wandale Robinson, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. Two touchdown passes there for Brock Purdy. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. They'll set up a throw. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. I think he tried to fool them on that one. You know, be able to throw the ball to the fullback position. No one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least for the time being? I think, you, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Jets' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. Jets' offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw to the right, caught by Okonkwo. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That's good for 28 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run, because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now back to throw. His throw incomplete. Well, they certainly are letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. And so we're into maneuver. Mike Williams, touchdown chance. Mike Williams with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jets have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drive, four plays. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we transition into the second half of the season, he continues to put up big numbers on a consistent basis. Currently the NFL's leader in passing as we play here in the month of November. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's Hill, complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. He'll drop to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's scooped up. Look at the big man rumble. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead.
Aubrey now for the PAT. It's good, and it's 21-10. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kick's away following that fumble return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they have done themselves absolutely no favors to earn a win today in this one, Charles. The turnover woes continue on that last drive. They had that fumble that led to a touchdown. And Brandon, I would say they have a mission on this drive, and the bottom line is protect the football, just put together something that they can let the last drive go. Yeah, it was a bad play. They gave up points, but that doesn't mean it has to go that way the rest of this ball game. Do what you do best on offense and try to put the ball in the end zone yourself. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. They'll look to throw now on first down. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Out of the gun now on third down. Out route to Hill complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And just shedding him off there. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 54 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That run's successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it. And that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. On first down, he'll drop the throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 13-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now a fake on the Jets' sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal.
They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A great effort there with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming. But they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and a yard. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Catch number 44 of the year. It's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Now they'll run on the draw. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes last week. He ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down.
They're going to look to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. He'll look to throw. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. He's back to throw. And he's got him. Got his man on the end round. Complete. They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Here now, second and goal. They'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his help. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go... And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. So that effort gives them a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. 
Escaping the... And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They'll look to throw here. That's caught by Wilson. And he is going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Looking to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. And this time, he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. This is first and ten. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it online, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. This from Tom Dempsey range here. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and that changes everything here in OT. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is, remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive, and this is what they've been planning for. It's time to execute and take it downfield, even against all these odds. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And you definitely could make the case we might not even be in overtime had he not thrown three interceptions in regulation. But looking better here so far in OT. Yeah, and when you think about what a coach is thinking at that point, because normally you've thrown three picks during the game, you might craft your play call to be a little more careful. Not in this case. The green light still on for him. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. 
Wide open receiver complete. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. As the fan takes it back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans streaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. So for Miami, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they are barely afloat as they fall to 4-5. and five. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at New York.